Hello friends, Manalmon is here bringing you the balance update of the June. So our first hero Doctor Strange is being nerfed. Mainly the nerf is on his passive that huge nerf. Earlier he gets to avoid all the damage when he triggers his passive. So it was really hard for enemies to kill him. But now he cannot avoid that damage. He will he will still move in the direction of the joystick with the help of his cloak of levitation. But he cannot avoid that damage. From now on he will directly get hit as well as move in the certain direction. There is one more change to his skills and that is S2. S2 damage has been increased but now S2 ricochet effect won't happen when it passes through the portal. From now on it will only have a one phase effect. There is one more change to his S3 is that now portal will spawn a little bit delay from 0.8 second to 1 second which, uh, which is going to give you a little bit more time to reposition yourself so you don't get teleported. Now our next hero is Angel and he has received a huge buff like his S1 damage has been increased but the different change is on his S2. His S2 now the feathers are going to strike more more targets like and like heroes jungle monster or the minions mainly because when the feathers hit someone for example it deals 100 damage but if the second feather or the other feather hit the same enemy then the damage is being reduced but now it won't happen there is one more huge thing about the this ability is that s2 range has been increased which is going to give you a little bit more harass like the other marksmen in the game while laning our next hero in this list is Vision and I won't be saying like Vision has received a nerf. Yeah, the nerf is on his S2. The cooldown has been increased as well as the slowdown effect also been increased but the damage of S2 is still the same. Now it will be a little bit harder like obviously Vision was really good at laning because of his harass from alt and S2 combination but now Vision has received that extra damage on his alt, not the damage of the alt but the overall damage like when he gets that enhanced basic attack uh, next to basic attack increase his attack speed as well as that bonus damage he gets after using his alt that has been increased and good thing is that even if you miss the alt it doesn't matter you still get that pass you still get that passive effect of the alt i would say vision is still dangerous yeah though as compared to earlier his early game aggressiveness will be a little bit less our next hero is cloak and dagger and i am good to see like cloak and dagger buff is really good because as compared to other support heroes like ebony moth pixie and invisible woman the cloak and dagger damage was very less like she was in the team for only the healing and that s3 silence effect which is really helpful but now she has received the more damage and also the more healing on her alt so she is more op than way before and we already know she was op she, she only lacks the damage in her team so now just come make more energy items on her the next hero Groot has been buffed and mainly the Groot buff is needed because as compared to other tanks Groot damage was really less he was only needed for that S1 hook then S2 or maybe the alt and alt was easy to dodge like if you have the blink skill available you can easily escape same like as compared to other tank heroes his lane clearance was very bad but now after the buff that damage boost up that he's got not only the damage but the passive movement speed has also been increased so his rotation I mean rotation of Groot's are really good I played a match with Groot and our team messed up a little bit because of two leech and I'm surprised to see at the end like I was getting six to seven six kills so it was really good like the damage of the Groot is a lot and I hope we see Groot more in the rank matches from now on. Our next hero to receive the buff is Mantis and her basic stats has been increased the S1 healing has been increased as well as the S2 now now I feel like Mantis is a tank with the healing ability if you remember like last few updates mantis received the buff on her all the damage reduction she received is away a lot so i really feel like mantis is now a tank with a lot of healing abilities so don't forget to buy the anti-heal items if you are going against mantis our last hero to receive the buff is rocket raccoon and his basic stats has been increased as well as the damage of s1 
I remember back in days when season 0 Rocket Raccoon was one of the most picked and the meta marksman but when in season 1 Rocket Raccoon nerf came out he was almost vanished like he was never picked in the rank I I didn't even seen Rocket Raccoon picked in the normal matches also it was really rare to see Rocket Raccoon pick because of most of the marksmen in this game are like they have untargetability invincibility the blink skill to escape from the assassin and Rocket Raccoon if you compare to other marksmen he has nothing to escape so he was really easy to kill and as Rocket Raccoon is a late game marksman he was it was very hard to play and carry the team with Rocket Raccoon it's good to see that Rocket Raccoon got a good buff I hope we are going to see Rocket Raccoon picks in the rank matches from now on. So that's all for this video. Let me know in the comments below what do you think about the current balance update and which hero needs buffs or nerf for the next update. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel. Also turn on the notification as I make content related to Marvel Super War on daily basis. And share this video with your game friends because I know there are so many players in the game that don't even go through the balance updates.